and welcome to the Big Fat Quiz of Sport, the quiz for sports experts that straps on its football skates, grabs its hockey racket and whacks the shuttlecock from one end of the cricket court straight over the pole vault and into the basket. Touchdown, get in the hole, 280. <laughs> The quiz was to be held in Qatar, but I said no, because my values do not align with those of Qatar, which is why we come to you this year live from North Korea. <laughs> Our panellists tonight know a thing or two about sports, literally two things between them. <laughs> Let's meet the teams. Dane Baptiste is known for his fierce intellect, incisive commentary and his smart observations on contemporary life. Roisin once ate a whole jar of pesto straight from the jar. <laughs> There's only one thing that can stop Roisin and Dane winning tonight, and that's Roisin. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they've just had a messy divorce and are now being forced to put on a united front at a parents' evening. It's Tom <laughs> Allen and <laughs> Kerry Godleyman. <laughs> well, it's not very politically correct, but we've booked the hilariously funny Judy Love and a bit of eye candy just for fun. It's Joel Domit. Oh, yeah. oh, that was just nice. Oh, that's just nice. So this is the big fat quiz of sports, not a regular one. So what are your sporting achievements? Uh, Roisin, you done anything sporting-wise? Yes, I have, Jimmy. Yeah. I once uh, was invited onto a show, uh, Comic Relief, Let's Play Darts, and I did a really good darts move. Was it that? That's the... I got, a, I got the number, I got the thing that I needed to get. <laughs> well, that's the level of expertise we're working with. <laughs> Dane, you take sports quite seriously, right? Well, I, I, think, I think my most significant sporting achievement was that I got a black belt in karate. Wow! When did you get that? Uh, 1993. <laughs> How old were you? 11. <laughs> you won't be laughing if I give you a front kick. <laughs> it's all quite camp, isn't it? Like, the fact that you win, like, a belt. Do you know what I mean? Like, like oh, you got some gold earrings and a brown belt. <laughs> That's a proper sporting that's a achievement, thing, that's a thing. I love that we're talking about sporting achievements, and in the middle of that, Judy got a crisp. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, <laughs> still, Judy, your, your sporting achievements, what have, you, what have you done? My sporting achievement is getting on top over the age of 40 with bad knees. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, no, that's fair. Okay. That's great, Judy. That's very good. Sure, that's a bit of cardio. <laughs> Tom, Kerry, you got any, uh, any sporting achievements? I once watched a football game. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. It's the level. There's all this, like, booing and shouting and swearing. I go, well, they're just doing their best. <laughs> you get all these blokes going on about it, cheering. No consonants. <laughs> <laughs> OK, team names. Uh, Roisin, Dane, what's your team called? Dane. Hit Jimmy with our name. Sports and prayers. Oh, Sports and prayers. that's lovely. Yeah. Good. Fun. Sports and prayers. Uh, Tom, carry. He thought, swing low, sweet chariot, coming forth to carry me, Tom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Too long. What's the short one? Double P-E. Double P-E. Double P-E. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so double P. Uh, Judy, Joel, what's your team? Richard and Judy. <laughs> Funny, because my name's not... Richard. And my name's so amazing that we just stuck with it. Just gonna keep that. <laughs> Richard and Judy. Okay, reasonably confusing, but fine. All right, let's get on. Let's get on. We'll get on with the quiz. We'll do a little bit of quiz. I have been Googling sport. <laughs> you just Googled sport. I have Googled <laughs> so much sport. I put sport in the search <laughs> engine. There's loads of it. <laughs> there is loads of it. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Now, there's a scientific theory that states you laugh 30 times more when you're in a room with other people than when you're watching something on a screen. So why not come and see me live? It's jimmycar.com for tickets and I'm pretty much everywhere. See you then.